Bio-inspired design is taking principles and paradigms we've observed in nature and then finding a way to reapply them through engineering techniques we've learned from our different disciplines and solving new problems with that. Bio-inspired design is important for tensegrity research because tensegrity is the notion that we have a series of rods or other compression elements suspended within a network of tension elements. And because of that, that follows patterns we've noticed within biological organisms. And we can use those principles for better structures when we build robots, for example. The general process we go through designing tensegrity research is we first look at the, the overall structure we want to mimic if we're doing biomimicry, for example. We begin with a passive prototype, and we figure out how that passive structure should be assembled. And we do that by first modeling this within NTRT, which is an in-house simulator we've developed in conjunction with NASA Ames, as well as a few other academic institutions around the country. And we get a better understanding of the underlying mechanics behind structures we want to build. And once we have a good idea of how these structures will behave, we then test these hypotheses. And we do that through the passive structures, and eventually through actuated structures as well. Obviously, the realm of bio-inspired design is enormous, and so we here at the Dancer Lab in UCSC, we want to figure out specifically some human applications that um, would benefit from this type of technology. So I personally have been looking into upper limb extremity applications, so that's arms and hands and elbows and all the joints associated with that. One of our, our main goals is to make something that can be used on any, any length arm of any size, something that you can put on your arm and then strap according to how long your arm is and um, to the tightness that you want it. One of the hard parts is kind of having it work exactly with the human body because there's a lot of factors you have to work around, say like cutting off blood circulation by pulling at certain points or be a normal movement rather than just a mechanical robotic hinge. Currently we're trying to follow the exact muscular structure of the human body and have cables and actuators that act as almost tendons and muscles to mimic pretty similar muscle movements that the human body has. And in doing so, this would provide the exact same forces or very similar forces that would allow the arm to move in pretty accurate ways to the human body. We're trying to help people that have, say, a disability that allows them to not use their arm as much. We're trying to allow them to at least bring them to normal standards of just lifting up normal types of things, say, picking up just a 10-pound weight or something like that, and have it be a normal act rather than a very strenuous and painful act for these people that don't have the ability right now. So I think that we will have a finished prototype by um, summer 2016, and we're hoping to start user testing and trying to help some physical therapists and patients with it at that time. Some other examples of applications we're looking at here include lower limb extremities, so legs, knees, hip joints. And we're also looking at some other very, very different projects, such as a quadruped locomotor, which could theoretically explore extraterrestrial sites, such as the moon or Titan, or even other planets like Mars. Santa Cruz became involved in tensegrity research at NASA Ames due to the UUARC seed funding. So initially, the colleagues at NASA and me here at the university wanted to work together, but we didn't have a way of uh, really sponsoring students. Then UUARC helped us in that direction. You are provided us uh, seed funding uh, we, uh, and also internships for the students. Therefore, the students could work part-time in the NASA lab in a real environment where research is done. And uh, on the other hand, they could have the university experience in our lab. The seed funding provided by UARC uh, allow us to really start our research in tensegrity together with the colleagues of NASA and at the end of the day uh, support our lab, which has more than 20 students from undergrad, master degree and PhD level working on tensegrity. Collaborating on the integrity research with NASA was a catalyst that made on the entire lab work. We learned from them what the real life problems are and our students could focus on modeling. And then once we understood how everything works, we could uh, evolve towards fields that are not exactly the immediate interest of NASA, like for example, rehabilitation for people which have stroke or other types of biomedical inspired uh, applications. Mm -hmm.